What's up everybody? Today I'm really excited. We're going to talk about how neck pain can cause headaches. It's a good day to have a good cup of coffee with you because it is a pretty complex topic. I spent quite a while preparing to present it and I'm trying to make it intelligible for everybody while still trying to make it interesting and scientific to be accurate. So we need to understand a couple concepts before we move forward. And the biggest thing is understanding the idea of referred pain. Referred pain is the idea and concept that you can feel pain in your body in a location that is separate from the location where the injury occurred. One really good example is the classic idea of someone having a heart attack feeling pain in their left arm. So during a heart attack, your heart's not getting enough oxygen and the muscle cells of the heart are dying. The heart's signaling this death of cells to your brain, which is obviously registering a problem. You don't want your heart to die. But instead of creating pain in your heart or the sensation of pain in your heart, your brain creates the sensation of pain in your left arm or your left shoulder blade. It can be pretty crazy. So I think we can all accept the idea that referred pain is possible, it exists. But why does it happen? Why does it exist? That's a little bit cloudier. So that's what we're going to talk about now. Let's give your brain a little credit though. Why would it make a mistake like this? And one reason is the differences in innervation between the two tissues. That sounds complex, but it's basically how easy is it to feel something in one area versus the other. Your brain is expecting to feel things on your left arm, touch, cuts, burns, way more than is expecting to feel pain from your heart. It's just not that common. So this graphic looks confusing, but it's actually just showing you what we just talked about, but with the example that we're here to talk about, neck pain and headaches. So your neck is reporting that something's wrong. We have poor posture or we injured our neck somehow. It's reporting that tissue damage to your brain, which is then taking that information, but perceiving wrongly that the information is actually coming from your face. As we talked about, this is more likely because your face is way more innervated than some of the deep structures in your neck, and your brain is just assuming your face is way more likely to have pain. The other thing to consider is where both of the nerves that connect these tissues, your neck and your head, connect into your spinal cord to report what's going on to your brain. In this case, they connect at the exact same levels. That's the idea behind convergence projection, which is the theory to explain this kind of referred pain. We have two nerve pathways, one that connects your face to your brain so it can receive information, and one that connects your neck from your brain so it can do the same. That are entering your spinal cord and synapsing at the second order neuron or the middleman between them and the brain. And your brain is interpreting that the one that's more likely to be in pain is the one that is causing the issue. Okay, that was a lot. I tried to make it straightforward, but I know it was a little confusing. I do think it's really interesting though, and hopefully that's not just me. So why is that important? Why do we care that your neck could be causing headaches? Well, it's actually really reassuring and encouraging if you can get the symptoms of your headaches to change by what you're doing with your neck. If you can sit up straight or if you can do some massage and your headache goes away, well, then we know what to do to get it to go away. <laughs> the specifics of exactly what needs to be done should be left in the hands of a professional, someone else, me, who can help you figure out the best way to do that, but it's actually a really good sign. Thanks for sticking around. If your brain's tired, know that mine is too. This video took me like 500 takes to get it, get it to where I wanted, where I thought it made sense without being incomprehensible to myself and others. So thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it. And Dr. Drew Haley at AlignOnlinePT.com. I'll see you there.